Hi guys, welcome to my May reading wrap up. I will be talking about the books I read in May. And I read seven books this month or in May and they were all really good books. The first book I read is the Inheriting Games, the series The Inheriting Games and um, I liked it. I think I gave the first book four stars and the second book five stars. Inheritance games are about the girl, Ava Grams, that overnight becomes the richest girl in America because some guy, the richest guy in America, Tobias Hawthorne, left her everything. He left her everything, all the money, all his houses everything and nobody knows why she's not related to him they don't know each other but this guy has this big family but left everything to this stranger so Avery moves into the house uh, she now owns and Tobias the grandfather had or the guy has four grandsons and the grandsons uh, don't really like Avery because they don't trust her because they don't know why their grandfather left everything to Avery but um, Tobias left them some clues and they try to figure it out I loved the characters like the Hawthorn boys I love them um, Jameson, Grayson, Xander and Nathan just yes please please in the first book the plot was kind of slow for me and it, the games or the clues weren't just it wasn't fun but the second book i loved the second book and that's kind of unpopular opinion because everybody loves the first book more but i really loved the second book more because you get so much more depth to these characters they also interact with each other more like Avery with the boys and you get to know them more uh, the relationship evolves and also the plot of the second book is so much better for me uh, but everybody's opinion is uh, different but I really like the second book more also I'm team Jameson because uh, it's kind of a love triangle between Avery, Grayson and Jameson but I'm team Jason all the way like him and Avery are, are meant for each other they're no yes yes and also I really really like Xander not for Avery but in all of the uh, Hawthorne boys Xander he's just the cutest sweetheart mm. Go read it. Go, please read the series. It's really good. You can see that I like it. And also it's like mystery, but it's really fast paced. The plot is good. The, there's also romance, some plot twists. It has everything. So I think you will enjoy it. The next book I read was The Risk by L. Kennedy. That's the second book of the Brow You series. And I always read the Off Campus or Barry You series on my ebooks just when I need a little time off of actual books. And it was okay, but uh, it was like three stars for me. I like Jake and Brenna, but it was just mid. No nothing awesome, nothing interesting. Um, no, just okay. It's a quick read spicy the third no fourth book i read was all your perfects by colleen hoover and that was my fifth clean book or six i i don't know and i gave it 4.5 stars and i loved and also hated all your perfects um, I read it in two days, like all Colin Hoover books, they're just, you read them like it's nothing. It's really fast paced and her writing style is just really quick. 
I, I don't know why, but something about the way she writes, it just reads really well. All Your Perfect is about... Hmm. It's about Quinn Graham. And uh, it switches between chapters when they met and chapters when they are married and having troubles in their marriage. In the then chapters when they met, you can see how in love they were, how perfect they were. And in these 10 years, they just are not happy anymore. They really struggle, they're unhappy and you just try to understand what happened in these 10 years that they grew so much apart. It also covers the topic of miscarriage and fertility issues. So be aware of that. I loved in this book that it also showed the dark side of romance because in many romance books you just see how happy they are, how everything's perfect, but that that's not realistic. And this book really showed that. They it didn't just show the good parts and the happy part, but also the sad parts and the not so happy parts. And that's not in a lot of books, but this book was really good in it. Uh, the miscommunication sometimes really got on my nerves. I get why she was there they could have saved each other like six years by just having one conversation one small conversation but no they just play the game that they're everything's fine nothing was fine and they were just dancing around each other all this time and also the letters this thing will understand just the readers that read it, but the letters Graham wrote her. Oh my god! That was just amazing. I cried, I was angry, I was happy, I was overwhelmed. This book had everything. And I gave it 4.5 stars, I think. Colleen Hoover can never do wrong. I will say that I'm a little tired or I'm getting a little tired of Colleen Hoover books because they're always kind of the same the topic is different but the writing style's the same there's always a plot twist there you always cry it's kind of getting repetitive the next book I've read is The Summer of Broken Rules and this was just a um, quick summer read editing the video how I tried to tell you what the summer of broken rule is rules is about it doesn't make sense so I'll try to um, explain it better the summer of broken rules is about a girl that the summer of broken rule is about a girl who's sister recently passed away and her family her whole family goes every year to this place Martha's Vineyard and they are there and play a game of assassin so they draw names and try to eliminate each other and this year the girl goes there because her cousin's having a wedding there and she meets this boy from the groom's side and they make a pact in this game so they help each other. I liked the plot, it was quick and easy, but the romance, mm, I didn't like that it was in Salaf and it was like kind of too quick, too perfect, but I like them together. They're, it's a cute, fun, quick summer romance, but three stars no, nothing amazing nothing major just yeah quick and easy summer romance that's all then i read josh and hazel's guide to not dating by christina lauren and this book is about a girl hazel that's really quirky and fun and a lot she has this best friend Emily. Emily has a brother named Josh. 
Josh and Hazel, but they start a friendship and they understand each other very well. Also, they make this bet that they try to blind date someone like Josh finds Hazel a blind date and Hazel finds Josh a blind date and it's cute and then um, you can you know what happens it's Josh and Hazel's guide to not dating so I don't want to say it but you can you know it's cute it's fun it's easy I love Hazel I just understood Hazel ha hmm. I just understood Hazel on another level like I finally felt seen in some things, so that was good. And they, they, they're cute together. I think I gave it 3.5 stars. The last book I read was You'd Be Home Now by Kathleen Glasgow. This book, this book was amazing. Just amazing. Like, it's one of my all-time favorites now. I also buddy read it with my friend Bibi. Um, I filmed a reading vlog of me and her reading it. I just haven't edited it yet, so I don't know if it will be out when this video is out, but I'll pin it in the comments when it's out so you can see my reactions to it. This book is about a girl Emory and she has a brother Joey that struggles with drug addiction. It's told from the point of view from Emory and in the book you see how difficult it is for the people that love the drug addict. Like how much addiction affects all of us. Not like just one the one person who has it, but how much it affects all of the people who love him. Emily loves her brother. She does, but she, sometimes she also hates it, hates him because she feels invisible. Because all her life everything's about Joey and she can do anything wrong because she doesn't want to give her parents something more to worry about but she just feels like nobody knows her because she's just Joey's sister and she just takes care of him and she can't live her life and Kathleen Glasgow I don't know how she did it but she just took my thoughts all the thoughts of every teenager on earth and put them on paper it was like reading my own brain and I have no drug addiction or addiction of any sorts or I don't feel invisible but it was so relatable and all the things and it was also really quick to read and this topic is very heavy but Kathleen just wrote it like you read it like it was nothing and she made you understand that topic so well and it's just amazing it's really amazing and um i think everyone should read it it will really uh you will learn something from it and also if you are a teenager and you struggle of being with being seen with your parents that you don't feel like anybody knows you or anybody understands you read this book read you'd be home now because that is some relatable <laughs> so five uh, i gave it five out of five stars okay i don't know if i said it but five out of five stars <laughs> and that's everything all the books i read in may um it was a really good reading month the biggest surprise was you'd be home now because i uh, didn't know anything about the book I didn't think I would like it and boom it's my new favorite and that's all bye